So the two storage methods are conventional storage where bales are stored on the round end and then on end storage where the bales are tipped over onto the flat side. So on end stacking of round bales is increasing in popularity in the UK but there is no proof that on end stacking has any benefit over the conventional storage method. It's been suggested that as there are more layers of film on the bale ends, the bales are better protected from physical damage from stones and st sharp objects on the, on the base of the storage area and birds from above. But there is no scientific basis to support the, these claims. So the high number of film wrap layers uh, are only seen in the central area of the bale end. As we move to the perimeter of that flat area, uh, the, the film layers reduce. And by the time we come to the bale shoulder, the film wrap layers will be the same as they are on the round end. So these bale shoulders are vulnerable to damage. So when we stack bales conventionally, uh, we can use an, uh, an implement that cradles the bale from underneath. And this is the method that is least likely to damage the film. When we stack bales on end, we have to use an implement that squeezes the bales to grab hold of them. And this is more likely to damage the film wrap. And uh, when we consider that silage is the preservation of forage in the absence of air or oxygen, we must protect this film wrap from any damage to preserve, to ensure the preservation of this silage. So when we uh, stack uh, round bales conventionally, each bale sits uh, between the two bales below it uh, and with time they mould together to create a honeycomb pattern as they bed into one another and a high percentage of each uh, uh, bale surface is in contact with its neighbouring bales and this means that uh, there's less likelihood of air ingress into the bale leading to better preservation but with our on-end stored bales, this honeycomb formation um, does not appear, and there is more. There is there is more of the bale surface uh, exposed, uh, and this can uh, lead to more mould on the bales. A study from Ireland showed that there was more mould. On the surface of the bale with the bale stored on the end compared to bales stored on the on the curved side conventionally so this uh, this study uh, contradicts the claims that storing bales on end uh, will give you added protection from the additional film layers that are, um, are to be seen on the top and bottom of the bales when they are stored in that fas fashion. So we've seen that uh, there are unlikely to be benefits to this uh, on-end storage method, but more concerning is the fact that these stacks can become unstable. I've visited two farms uh, this winter where uh, whole stacks of on-end stored bales have collapsed uh, very soon after they were stacked. Uh, we're not clear of the, the reasons behind this, but uh, it's likely that, that uh, inconsistencies in bale density uh, is a likely reason and as density varies and the bales sink to different extents the, the stack become, becomes unstable and collapses. Another factor is to consider that uh, uh, bales wrapped in the field um, 
uh, tend possibly to be uh, carted and stacked first in the morning possibly when there is still dew on the uh, on the bales or during a wet period after harvest uh, this uh, this moisture on the film surface uh, will will stop the, the the bales bonding together leading to slippage and collapse of stacks in addition to this, health and safety guidelines state that the safest method of stacking ground bales is in the conventional manner. And if bales are to be stacked on end, it should be done within a building. So it's unlikely that there is any benefit from storing bales on end. Uh, but there are some serious concerns regarding the safety of this uh, stacking method and uh, please take careful consideration uh, before um, before this coming season um, and hopefully uh, opt for the conventional stacking method uh, stay safe um, and please pass this information on to your neighbours